Hello guys, today I want to share with you a coding approach, an AI coding approach that I've been using for two weeks now and it's been working pretty neat for me, in which you need cloud code and uh, any editor of your choice and uh, somewhere where you you will define your task or just write it in the terminal. I prefer to use linear because linear lets me sync my github issues from my repositories so I can modify them, yeah that's what uh, linear does, it's a pretty good app if you want to use it. Anyway, uh, this task is about the chapter generation in the report generator agent that I've been working on with my friends in which I was generating the chapters in parallel. So I want to switch to generate each chapter alone so each chapter will contain a little bit of context about the previous one and uh, my report will be more coherent and uh, not like I'm starting from scratch on each chapter. So what you should do and this is very strict you should always start by defining your problem statement in which you will give the LLM your problem uh, you will explain to him do not mention any technical details yet just from a perspective of a normal user so next you should include the context of your task what technical stuff are you using or want to use here I have the master MCP inside my cloud code uh, I'm not defining all my MCPs in this project. Uh, this is just for just for fun. So I'm just using context seven and linear to fetch the task, master to uh, navigate the documentation, and Tavale, of course, to search the web because uh, cloud code and web navigation is not as good as Tavale. Anyway, and you will finish by defining your desired outcome. This is very important because if you give your uh, uh, LLM the uh, the problem and the context and you don't give it the end goal, it will not achieve your goal properly because it should have a goal inside the to-do list to make it the last thing and verify if it's uh, if it's achieved or not okay so that's pretty basic uh, in the definition of the task here comes the heavy work or the heavy lifting it's not heavy lifting it's pretty easy but yeah you should always start by planning your task you shouldn't implement right away because your LLM doesn't have all the context that it needs to start by implementing nowadays LLMs can think but it's more preferable to create a plan for the LLM to use and uh, yeah in cloud code you should just hit shift tab and you can switch between modes so now i will tell cloud code to fetch the linear task which is uh, awo8 which is uh, the prefix of my workspace and uh, plan it as simple as that <laughs> right now it's using mastra to fetch all the documentation and the functions it needs to start implementing okay now we have a comprehensive plan that uh, cloud code created that includes all the steps it should go about to achieve our end goal which is our chapter generation so let's make it auto accept you can manually approve uh, whatever you prefer i will let it auto accept for now and see what it does. Okay, so the, our cloud code finished the task and it's asking me if I want to lend the project or the file. So for me, I will skip that for now. You can define extra stuff to do after it finishes uh, inside the cloud code hooks, I guess. You can use hooks yeah in which you can run bash commands i guess you can run prompts too i don't know if uh, if it's available now i didn't really dig through the hooks so much but uh, yeah that's how you should do it it's all about how you define your task and the steps that the llm uses and also the tools that you provide because i provided the master mcp if you didn't have it i don't know if it can and identify the correct functions and methods to use so it's all about the better lesson at the end but if you don't know what the better lesson is just google it it's basically the more computation gets more heavy and uh, more performance the more it doesn't need extra tools to do the to achieve or do the job but for now yeah if we use the right tools we can achieve any task uh, any task very fast okay so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next one